Hello to the three of you. How are you today? Oh, good. Yeah, wonderful. How are you? I'm great. Great to see you. Oh my God. I binged this whole series in one seating. I couldn't stop. It's wow. so good. Wow. It's, it's great. Who doesn't love a good uh, crime drama? Like, you know, everyone seriously. loves yeah. a good crime drama. Wait, there's 100%. crime in it? There's crime in it. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and, and a cute little dog. So it's and like, you've got everything. Yep. There is the really nothing missing in this show. So <laughs> Becky, Becky, let's start to you uh, with you because obviously you are a veteran of amazing series. Uh, I was an ugly Betty fan, never missed, never missed an episode. But with, this, but with this one, I got to say, I mean, I love the fact that Mickey is still buddies with his ex-wives. You play Lorna. She works in the office. She's got this interesting relationship with Mickey, but she's no dummy. Nope. She is no dummy. Tell me a little bit about working on this and, and why you love Lorna so much. I love that Lorna is not afraid. I don't think she's really afraid of anything. Um, and I think there's something really strong and smart about her that for me was very obvious from the first scene of the pilot when she calls Mickey just demanding to know where he is. <laughs> I think as far as being an ex that still works with him, I think it's a modern take on... Uh, relationships, I think it happens more often than we realize where the marriage might not work out, but there's still love yeah. and support and connection. And I think it's cool to explore that versus just sort of the bitter ex-wife. I think um, it creates a really cool dynamic um, that we certainly discussed a lot on set. I mean, Lorna is engaged to Cisco, who also right. works in the office. So it's basically, <laughs> yeah. there's a lot getting mixed together. And I think um, it makes it really interesting and multidimensional, I think probably reflects the complex relationships people face in real life after they've chosen not to be married anymore, but still might be connected through work or through children. For sure, for sure. So Angus, let's talk a little bit about Cisco because he's got a little bit of mystery going on behind him too. I don't want to give away too much about where he comes, but he was a he was in a gang and and he why does he why does he connect so well with Mickey? And then tell me a little bit about your bonding with Manuel. Because I'm gonna say this right here. He can try a case for me anytime. <laughs> what uh, what would you be charged with? Oh, we can't talk about that on air, but maybe later we can discuss that. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, it's that's a that's a, a question that I had as well. Why 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 is Cisco so loyal to uh, to Mickey? And uh, it's certainly something that uh, Becky and I and Manuel as a triumvirate tried to, I guess. Um, as you say, like keep relevant and 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 not sort of uh, you know gloss over the fact that that my boss was married to my yeah. now fiance, and of the three of us, she's probably the most dynamic mind of of the three of us. Um, and I guess with her sort of uh, luminous uh, take on things. I tried to take Cisco um, in in Michael's direction, where he's probably a bit more in that grey area of, of 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 crime and and justice, coming from a um, an outlaw biker gang. Um, what does that mean? Because yeah, we we see him a lot at the start of the series. Just what he's very diligent for a mm -hmm. for an ex criminal. Ah. Um, and, yeah. and so, to answer your question, I think it will. We'll have to see what happens in season two. We'll have to see what happens. Now, Jazz, okay, look, you spend all that time in the car with yes. Manuel. I mean, I'd hire you to be my chauffeur. Like, I think you did a pretty good job driving. <laughs> Listen, um, what yeah. is that like for you spending most of the series on your butt? Uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, it was great because, you know, Manuel and me are just in the car, sitting in the car, just laughing 90% of the time. Yeah. Um, and it was a really interesting experience kind of being thrown onto the streets of LA, like in traffic, <laughs> um, yeah. you know, to just drive this, you know, really expensive car around and fingers crossed that no one just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> and then going from that to a soundstage where we're like, you know, yeah. <laughs> getting rocked in a car <laughs> with, you know, plates going by. Um, but it was great. We had a, a really, really, really great time. Yeah, well, it looked like it. Uh, like I said, I wish I had more time with you guys, but congratulations on the series. It really is good. I mean, it had me at David E. Kelly. It cannot go wrong. And yeah. you guys all did such a great job. So thanks for your time today and uh, best of luck with the series. Thank thanks, you. Thank you. Bye.